Okay, friends, I hope you've all had a chance to see the video right before this one that uh, you, I gave you a little update on the growth of the milkweed that we planted. And now it's time to review the parts of a flower and color the milkweed. So you're, you're gonna need this sheet from your Monday folder. You're going to need your box of new crayons. We have a lot of activities this week that are gonna require crayons, so I thought you could use a new box. You're gonna need your orange crayon, your yellow crayon, your brown crayon, and your sort of lightish, lighter green. I think a lighter green will be more realistic. Okay, we're gonna try to make this as realistic as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna get my glasses on so I can see better, and the first thing I'm gonna do is write my name. So, I'm gonna write Mrs. Griffiths. And then, the date. And look, it's gonna be six. Six, one, dash, 20. Looks like that. There we go. And I think, I don't know if you guys can hear in the background, I have our relaxing music on. Very nice. So, we're gonna start with the stem. So get your light green crayon and let's start with the stem. And just, you know what, just gentle coloring. Because I don't think it's a really dark green, if you remember from the video. And then let, 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 let's do our leaves while we have our light green out. Okay, there's a leaf. Hopefully this is relaxing for you. I've noticed how really, really good all of you have gotten at coloring. I'm so impressed when I look at your work. And then we have a big leaf over here. It doesn't look like any caterpillars or monarch, but our milkweed bugs have been eating this one. This one still has the always leaves, huh? In the video, that milkweed plant doesn't have too many leaves left. Let's get all the leaves. And remember when you color, you know, nice long strokes and your hand doesn't get tired. There we go and look at how fast it goes. And it's easy to stay in the lines with this one. Very nice. The next thing we're gonna do, and we didn't really talk that much about this when we were doing the plant parts, but you know what we saw on the milkweed plant, this was kind of a pod, and it had started to turn a little brown. It still had a little bit of green on it. You can get all fancy if you want to, and kind of exchange the crayons there. And you know what? Remember, it was all kind of cottony right here, and the seeds were kind of mixed in with all that cotton-looking material. So why don't we just leave this white? We'll color this kind of brown in the middle, and just sort of, you know, you can kind of see these little dots. Just give it a little bit of brown here in the middle. So you guys will remember that here was this pot with all these seeds. Just waiting for the wind to catch the seeds and take them. So then, now it's time for the flower. In the middle of the flower is the sweet nectar. And you know when I was out there a little bit earlier, go ahead and start coloring the middle where the nectar is. Uh, go ahead and start coloring that yellow. Just get a little yellow. You don't have to stay too much in the lines because it will all blend together when we do our orange. Anyway, what I was saying is I saw two monarchs, two monarch butterflies. I wonder if it if they hatched from the chrysalis. I could never find the chrysalis. They were hiding really well, but I know they were there. It was nice to see 
I thought the monarch butterflies looked very happy. There, I think that will be nice. Let me take a look at that. I think I can put a little yellow right here. There we go. And now I'm just gonna see lightly. Here's like the part of the flower out here. Look, let's just get a little orange. And then while you're coloring, you can really, you know, realize where's the nectar, where's the rest of the flower. It makes it stand out as you color. And if I'm going too fast for you, just stop the video. Take a rest if you need to, and then you can always come back to it. And I, here's another little tip. You see how I'm just turning my paper? Makes it easier for me to see. Oh, and look, here's a part I missed. I think this should be a little bit yellow. There we go. Looks like I have a few more petals. You know, I'm gonna turn it around and give it a little look like this and see. Hmm, maybe right here. Maybe right here. There we go, and there we have it. A milkweed flower. Thank you for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed this activity.